हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू डियर टेक्निकल ज्ञान टुडे वी वुड लाइक टू डिस्कस अबाउट अ टेक्निकल टॉपिक दैट इज जीडीपी एल्कोआ प्लस एंड इट्स अ डेटा इंटीग्रिटी इशू सो विदाउट यू लूजिंग एनी टाइम लेट अस बिगिन अबाउट डेटा इंटीग्रिटी so before go through the uh, data integrity we would like to uh, know the data quality and uh, from where the alcoa principle was originated the alcoa acronym was first coined by mr stone w ullen while he was serving in food and drug administration office of enforcement in the back 1990s glp requirements pertaining to the data quality requirements data quality elements practically 21 cfr 58.130e which articulate virtually all the elements of alcoa before go through the data integrity issues first let us learn about what are the common gdp errors and what is the difference between the data integrity issue and gdp errors so the common gdp errors are like writing error like grammatical mistakes typographical errors transcription error calculation error or any other unintentional errors that is happens during daily practice let us understand few examples of data integrity issues so that we can clearly understand what the data integrity issues are like back dating timing forward dating timing date or time manipulations in any data unauthorized or unauthenticated access reuse of control documents or control number unofficial trial of the samples multiple analysis of sample without any adequate justifications submission of passing test results without completion of testing discarding data changing the integration parameter of a chromatographic data to obtain passing results now let us understand what the data integrity is complete consistent and accurate data to assure the patient safety and product quality complete consistent and accurate data should be attributable legible contemporaneously recorded original or a true copy and it should be accurate whenever this all elements meets it is called document meets its alcoa principle now good documentation practice for static and dynamic records data integrity should be maintained throughout the data of life cycle including but not limited to the data creation processing archiving and disposition of records retention period use of static and dynamic in the relation of record format what is static data if we generalized say that a fixed data or document is a static document like a paper record or an electronic image or a photo is a static data what is dynamic data dynamic data are the record formats allows 
interaction between the user and the record content. Say as for example, a chromatogram where an integration parameters can be modified and the modification is usually done by a user and it's recorded in the HPLC itself or in the recorder itself. So this type of documents called dynamic documents. Trustworthy record characteristics. What should be the trustworthy record? There are a few characteristics that these documents should be reliable, complete and accurate. They are, should be authenticate, proven to be what it appeared to be. Integrity of the say, document should be maintained. It should be complete and unaltered. It should be usable, can be located, retrieved, presented and interpreted. Now, let us begin one by one every attributes of Alcoa principle. First, the A stands for attributable, that is traceable to an unique individual. Second one is L stands for legible, data must be recorded permanently and it should be readable contemporaneously. Every activities must be recorded at the time they occurs. Whenever the activity is being executed at the simultaneously at the same times the details should be recorded in an immediate basis. What is original or true copy? First, capture data. The first capture data, the first data, which whatever is generated, that is not the transcribed data, must be reviewed with the original record. It should be kept, it should be attached, it should be enclosed with the original data and must retain with the original or certified copy of the original record. Now, there is a question, what is the certified copy? Certified copy is a copy which is verified by a second person who compares the copy of the original and confirms that the copy of the document is accurate and complete and preserve the content and meaning. All the data, metadata, documents, the verification. Now, the last but not the least in Alcoa principle is A stand for accurate. Record must be accurate which is achieved through the quality management system. There is a new terminology a combination of USFDA and MHRA and PIX guidelines. So, that is Alcoa Plus. Nowadays we know about the Alcoa Plus. First uh, element of Alcoa Plus is complete. It is as per 21 CFR 211 part 194. It says that all data including repeat or reanalysis performed on a sample data is complete in nature and there is no deletion that has been taken place from the date of documenting there should be no any changes during the life cycle of the data that is called the data completes its complete life cycle now second attributes is consistent data timestamps consistent application of data timestamps in the expected sequence 
data should be chronologically arranged with the any stamp sign date time includes for any addition to the original data it should be in a chronological order the consistency should be ensured by various internal or external audits during the life cycle of the data third one is enduring that is medium used to record the data recorded on controlled worksheet laboratory notebooks or maybe it should be a uh, electronic media the material used for recording of the data it should be last for a longer duration for a longer duration of time without losing its readability that means it is uh, stating about the endurance of the document now the last but the not the least of alcoa plus principle is available for the so lifetime of the record the available or accessible for review or audit purpose of the document lifetime of the record the data should be accessible whenever they needed over a lifespan of the data availability of the data ensures that the adequate archival or retrieval system implementation now there are another important thing to understand that is metadata we always says about data data about alcoa principles alcoa plus but the one thing is there behind the data that is metadata the contextual information required to understand the data that is data about the data is called metadata structured information that describes explains or otherwise makes it easier to retrieve use of or manage the data now let us uh, get some examples like date and time stamps user id instrument id audit trail these are all the metadata relationship between the data and their metadata should be preserved in a sequence and traceable manner the data should not be separated from its metadata whenever a data is retrieved or asked for audit purpose the metadata should be ready to provide simultaneously to understand to get the details about the data creation the metadata supports these all things now what is audit trail it's a very important thing and it's very contextual to understand it's a conceptual also it's the secure computer generated time stamps electronic record that allows for reconstruction of the events relating to the creation modification deletion of an electronic records chronology yeah it's very important how what when and why the recorded the data is the chronology of a audit trail whenever we are auditing whenever we are visiting a audit trail we should review all of this chronology of the document track the actions at the record or system levels cgmp compliance record keeping practices prevent the data from being lost or obscured whatever we visit in so audit trail whatever we should get from the audit trail whenever any overwriting is there we can understand this from audit trail run that has been aborted it should be clearly mentioned in the audit trail testing into compliance 
when the test is being completed successfully to a compliance level, it is ensured through the audit trial. Whenever a data is deleted, it can be easily retrieved from, it can be easily understand from audit trial. If any backdating or altering the data is done, it can be clearly understood from audit trail verification. Now the most important thing, what the regulation says about the documenting and the data integrity issues about data in accordance with the CGMP requirements for the drugs that is as required by 21 CFR part 210, 211 and 212. Now we will understand serial wise about different regulatory aspects. Part 211 that is the current good manufacturing practice in manufacturing, processing, packing, holding of drugs in general. Part 211 stands for current good manufacturing practice of Finnish pharmaceuticals. Part 212 stands for current good manufacturing practice for positron emission tomography drugs. Q7A stands for active pharmaceutical ingredients. Now, requirements with respect to the drug data integrity in parts of 211 and 212 continues. 211.188, 211.194, 212.60G, this all regulatory aspect says that the complete information complete data derived from all tests, complete recorded of all the data, original records have been reviewed for its accuracy, completeness and compliance with established standards and the complete records of all the tests performed. 211.192 requires production and control records to be reviewed. 211.101 C, D, 211.103, 211.182, 211.186 211.188 B, Part 11, 211.194 A, Subpart 8 requires that the record should be reviewed by a second person. This is most important. Requirements with respect to the data integrity in parts 211 and 212 conclude. It is include that 211.68 requires backup data are exact and complete and secure from alteration in adherent erasures or losses and that output from the computer be checked for its accuracy. 212.110B requires that the data to be stored to prevent the destruction or its loss. 211.100 211.160 requires that certain activities to be documented at the time of performance and that the laboratory controls be scientifically sound. 211.180 requires records to be retained as original records, true copies or other accurate Reproductions of the original record. Electronic signature and record keeping requirements in 21 CFR Part 11 
apply to the certain records subject to the record requirement set forth in regulations that is CFR 210, 211 and 212. Guidance for the industry part 11, electronic record, electronic signature, scope and applications. How should a blank forms be controlled? It is also very important for an organization to do their good documentation practices. Blank forms like worksheet, laboratory notebook or MPCRs should be controlled by a quality unit or by another document control method. Numbered sheets, numbered sheets of blank forms may be issued and should be reconciled upon completion of their activity. Incomplete or NCOs forms should be kept a part of the permanent record along with the routine justifications or their for their replacements. Paper record comparison. If the actions are not attributable to a specific individual, a BP share would look like all the values are entered but people who performed or reviewed the steps would be empty. Farm would not be able to understand the individuals who are authorized to perform the activity. <clears throat> Bound pageant notebooks stamped or official use by the document control group allow the detection of unofficial notebooks as well as any gaps in the notebook pages. An electronic document management system could have capability to reconcile and document the number of copies printed. When does the electronic data become a CGMP record? When it is generated to satisfy a CGMP requirement, it becomes a part of the CGMP record. You must document or save the data at the time of performance. Not acceptable to store the data in temporary memory like ROM or anything else, read-only memory. This allows the manipulation before creating a per permanent record. You cannot put a data in a temporary format. You may employ a combination of technical and procedural control to meet the CGMP documentation practices. Computer system such as LIMS, EBR system can be designed to save the steps after their entry with adequate electronic recording system. FDA CGMP impactions have uncovered violence with the data integrity issue. Now let us understand why the data integrity is important why data should be integrated with its all the forms data integrity is an important component of industry's responsibility to ensure safety efficacy and quality of the drug and fda's ability to protect the public health data integrity related cgmp violations may lead to the regulatory actions including warning letters, important alerts and consent decreases. The underlying premises in 210.1 and 212.2 is that the CGMP sets 
Fourth, minimum requirements to assure the drug meets the standards of Federal Food and Drug and Cosmetics Act, that is FDNC Act, regarding the safety, identity, strength, quality, and its purity. FDA authority for the CGMP comes from FDNC Act Section 501A to B. 501A to B states that a drug shall be deemed adulterate if the methods used in or the facilities or controls used for its manufacturer, processing, packing or holding do not conform to or are not operated or administered in conformity with current good manufacturing practice to assure that such drug meets the requirement of the act to safety and has identity and strength and meets the quality and purity characteristics which is purported or is represented to the process. FDA experts data to be reliable and accurate. CGMP regulations and guidances allow for flexible risk-based strategies to prevent the and detect the data integrity issues. Farms should implement meaningful and effective strategies to manage their data integrity risk based upon their process understanding and knowledge management of the technologies. Reliability on the information used to ensure the quality of the drugs that consumers will take. Data integrity problems break the trust. It is completely creates completely break the trustworthy of the organization. FDA rely on the firms to do the right thing when the FDA is not present. Thank you for watching this video.